What is going on everybody? It's me, Dakota, here for another video. I'm super excited to make this one because now I get to show you guys the new car I was going to introduce to you after the Integra. I love this car. It's been with me for a little bit while and I'm super excited to show y'all because I know y'all are going to love it. But also on the flip side today, we are also going to be adding another car to the garage that I cannot wait to show you all. So that being said, let me stop talking and show you the new car. Alright guys, and here we go. Check it out. So this is it guys. This is my 2002 Honda S2000. This is an AP1, but it has quite a lot of work done to it. Let me go and show you what's been done. So starting off with the outside of the car, as you guys can see, it does have the AP2 front bumper on it. That was done to the car previously before I got it, but that's okay because it still looks really good. I put that front lip on it. I did that uh, hood vent mod. It looks really good with just the four, honestly, instead of all three. That's just me. And then I have these three-piece Volk Racing wheels. I honestly can't even remember the name of them, but I mean, that's what they are. I love them, and they really complement how this car looks. Other than that, you know, nice tint. This car is in fantastic condition, and I love driving this thing every day. And as you can see, I have a big carbon fiber racing wing, so that's really cool for the car as well. I have an NVIDIA single exit cat-back exhaust that is also connected to the engine by these DC racing headers, so the exhaust sounds really good. But also while we're here in the engine bay, as you can see, uh, so the previous owner did do the F22 swap into this car. It's an AP1 that does not have the F20 in it. That's fine with me. It's still a Honda S2000. I don't care. Uh, what I did do is I got the Yonaka uh, full aluminum radiator with the fans. This thing is awesome, by the way. Then I have the Mishimoto hoses, the thermostat. I did all that fun stuff to this car, and it drives so good. And then last little touches, as you guys can see, I have these hydraulic hood struts. Makes opening and closing the hood a lot easier. And one of my favorite parts of this engine bay are these burnt titanium radiator stays. They look so cool. And before I forget, I have this NRG quick release steering wheel. And also, look at how clean this black interior is. This car is awesome. But yeah, guys, this is my Honda S2000. Guys, I love this car so much, and it complements the Integra so well. I'm so excited because I can do so much to this car I already have planned out. And I daily drive this, so this thing has been one reliable and such a blast to drive. Also great on gas with everything that's going on. But, you know, I just love this car. But that's enough of me showing off this car. Before I go to show you the new car, I know what y'all want to hear. Alright, now let's go get on the road check out the other car. Alright guys, so good news and bad news. Good news, I got the car. I'm so excited. I'm about to show you guys. Bad news, my camera hates me. On the drive over there, it decided to die on me so I couldn't film buying the car. But that's okay because we got it and that's what matters. But that being said, guess what we got guys. Boom. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so this is my new 2002 Camaro Z28 and it has the LS1, it's automatic transmission, but that's okay because I already love driving this car. Now unfortunately as you can see it definitely needs some love, that's why I got it for the price that I did. The front clip is blue, it was in an accident at one point, still clean title, it was just in an accident. It's a real Z28, obviously the interior needs a little bit of work, but that's okay because as you can see we got some T-tops, car runs fantastic no check engine light no issues and i love this car it has the ss wheels Need a little bit of work right there as you can see but that's okay it is a factory sunset orange metallic car and ironically the story i not ironically i guess but the story about how i got this car i pulled this thing out of a tow yard it had been sitting there in the middle of a tow yard in some bum area of texas and I found it randomly and I just decided I had to take this home with me because I got it for a great deal and the car runs great with a clean title. And plus I did get a chance to put this amazing emblem on it. And here's the inside of the car as you can see, you know, automatic, but these awesome T-tops. I did already put some speakers in it, but that's okay because I just needed them. That being said, as you can see, it starts up great. Pretty low miles, you know, 168,000, that's fine with me. But the real reason I love this car and I missed having an LS is because, and one of my favorite things I missed about owning an LS. Oh yeah, guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I just wanted to show off the awesome new Camaro that we have. I love this thing so much and I can't wait to do stuff to it. And, you know, show off the S2000 over there. So again, super happy. But then again, if you like this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I really appreciate it a lot. I'll see you on the next one.